Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Norma. This is my channel. And today I welcome you to the first episode of Lazy Mom's Recipes, Ratchet Kitchen Edition. <laughs> Basically, I've always kind of felt like I couldn't make these videos because I did not have, you know, like a home, like a big old kitchen, you know, the kind of kitchen I see in my head. And so I just never made these. But I've decided to let all of that go. Ultimately, it is up to the Lord when we get our forever home. And so I'm just going to chill out or at least our like long term home. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna, you know, love this apartment and put a bunch of joy in it and just use what I have. Because ultimately I realized most of us probably have kitchens that look like this. So it's fine. <laughs> Anywho, what better recipe to start with today than meatloaf and potatoes. And I'm throwing in some Brussels sprouts in there. We're gonna see how it goes. Normally I just do meatloaf and potatoes, but I'm gonna throw a veggie in there, see what happens. Um, this recipe is super quick, super easy. I literally do the meatloaf right off the packet. This is the packet. <laughs> um, and I literally just do it based on the instructions in the back. And to me, it tastes good. Um, I'm Hispanic, I'm Dominican, so like meatloaf was not in the repertoire in the meal options growing up. I actually had this for the first time, um, when I used to work at a group home and they made it for the boys and, um, we, uh, we always like sit and eat with them usually and that was the first time I tried meatloaf and I was like yo meatloaf is the bee's knees also shepherd's pie which we'll definitely have to try one day <laughs> but anywho if you guys are interested in making some meatloaf with potatoes and brussels sprouts sprouts and brussels sprouts keep watching <laughs> of course I forgot to talk about what I'm doing here so we're just gonna talk about it now we're getting everything that is gonna go in the meatloaf ready we've got some breadcrumbs we've got some milk which I poured too much of and that's why it came out the way it did but we'll talk about that later uh we cracking some eggs which were slightly frozen my fridge is weird and now we're just whisking those eggs whisk a whisk and now we are getting the meat out which looks absolutely disgusting and that is pretty much it Okay, hopefully this angle is doing the trick. I'm trying to have you guys kind of over my shoulder situation. But anywho, first thing we're gonna do is chopi chopi las papas. I'm sorry guys, it's so hard to see. The ring light is like right in my face. So I apologize ahead of time if this isn't, you know. Now, I don't claim to be a chef. I don't claim to be super trained in cooking it up. But you know, we're gonna do what we know, so. This is how I like to cut them. I keep the skin on. Totally up to you if you want to take it off or not. I'm looking at you guys like you can see me, but you can't. Anywho, I'm going to cut them nice and small so they're like bite-sized. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you would draw and lead me to me. too many but we're gonna ignore it Cameron eats a lot so it's fine it's fine now we've got some Brussels sprout action I'm gonna go above and beyond I'm gonna get fancy I'm gonna cut them in half you don't have to do that I don't know if you can see that I had to put water on them because they kind of froze back together again my makeup's gonna be all checked up but anywho yeah, I'm just going to cut them just in half, just because I feel like that'd be best. You don't have to cut it in half. It is the Lazy Mama channel, so you can be as lazy as you want to be. When he loves me, the song 
We are going to olive oil it up for a bunch in there because Lord knows, oh shit, Lord knows it needs it. I know it looks like a lot, but it's a lot of potatoes, so shh, let it be a lot. Now, onion powder for all situations. Just, yeah, that shit's going to be oniony as hell. I think I did, I... I think I might have overdid it there a little bit, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, this is, I don't know, I, it looks cool when I bought it. It's french fry seasoning. I like to put it because, you know, who doesn't love french fries with seasoning? Okay, that was paprika. Guys, I just toss all of my favorite seasonings in their crap. I think I broke the garlic lid. Wow, normal, wow, just wow. Y'all, see how excited I am to be here with you today. Thought I broke my garlic lid. That was garlic. This is Old Bay's, which freaking is such a struggle to get out, but I like it. I think it does what it needs to do. Alright, we're mixing up. We're mixing up the broth, the sprouts, the broth, the sprouts. Now, I saw this recipe that had Parmesan in it. Parmesan cheese on the Brussels sprouts. So that's what we're gonna do here today. And hopefully it tastes good. Damn it. <laughs> this professional, y'all. We're oh shit. Okay. I think I did a little too much trees, but that's so okay. Mmm, that looks y'all, y'all can't even lie. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Now listen. Y'all gonna take my word that Brussels sprouts are good because I felt the same way back in the day. Back in the day, a few months ago. <laughs> and then Cameron's sister introduced us to hers and they were banging. And all it was was olive oil and I think a little bit of sea salt maybe. But it did what needed to be done, you know? So, I'm feeling, I don't know. I wanna put more seasoning, but I don't want it to it smells nice and seasoned <laughs> from what I can smell. I think I'm like just now starting to get my smell back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Just gonna wash my claw. Okay. Then, Gonna get my hand dirty again. I put just a little bit, just a little. Did you see that little, the little W? Then I use just tissue, whatever. Spread it around. I try not to use the tissue for too long because it tends to soak it up, you know? But that's that. And I'm praying that the potatoes fit because I just remembered that I threw out I threw away the other one of this we had so I'm gonna have to just like well for one I'm gonna have to mix oh I guess I could have done the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer but hey what's done is done I'm just gonna end up uh, halfway through kind of flipping the pan so you know we kind of got a one sheet veggie and give you guys the fancy putting it in the oven thing my oven is ugly as hell so is the stove so shh also oh my god excuse my nails dang i forgot about those y'all my bad my bad okay now we've got our meat with its nasty meat juice i feel like i do need to chop it up oh, there we go okay 
cooking with some gas. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. Anywho, so as prescribed, we've got eggs. We've got eggs. We've got milk. Ooh, I hope that's not too much milk. Okay, it calls for ketchup. I, hmm, I put the ketchup on top. Is that weird? Probably. We'll put a little bit. Just a couple shook shook supposed to do the ketchup y'all but honestly the way it's looking I don't know if it's gonna work too well okay just kind of rub that ketchup around as best you can nothing look bad at all okay so I think I like I said pretty sure it was too much milk but that's okay Alright, it's alright, it's okay. Alright, let's take y'all to the oven. Let's take y'all to the oven. You should see me shaking my legs right now. Okay, you like my little heart spoon thing? Alright, I'm just gonna put you down here and hopefully- Oh my god. Okay. So, oven's all warmed up. Meatloaf up top. And actually, meatloaf on the bottom, potatoes and Brussels on top. Do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg. Okay, welcome back to my face. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed making that recipe with me. The clip after this will be everybody eating it. We're gonna get our ratings from the babies and my babes, and yeah. All right, y'all. Um, finish product. Okay, so it's not as pretty as it normally comes out, but it'll do. So, bon appetit. Anywho, like the video if you did enjoy, comment down below recipes. I need like a long lasting list of recipes. I love making new things for the family and I would love to share them with you guys um, and what everyone thinks of them. I hope you'll subscribe to watch more videos like this and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Why don't you help me? Pom 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 pom